5612 with Pete Carlson, the uh, manager here at the beautiful Schwann's uh, Super Rink and program director. Uh, boy, what an event you got going on this weekend. Well, yeah, this is uh, one of our largest of the year, actually, with Northland Hockey Group coming in with the opener. They've got all eight sheets here at the Schwann Super Rink full for uh, three days, and also Fogarty Arena, which is in Blaine. Brooklyn Park, they're over there, and uh, Vadnais Heights as well. So uh, we love Northland hockey. You know, uh, but you guys are, I mean, this is nothing really that out of the ordinary for you. You guys are busy here all the time, aren't you? Well, we are. I mean, we're always looking for more teams and, uh, you know, 10 more teams for this tournament or that tournament, a few more hockey camps and clinics. But for the most part, our goal is to sell 20,000 hours of ice in a year, and we're always hovering right around that. Uh, and it, it's a collection of effort. Like you said, we have our own programming department that we have at the Schwann Super Inc. with my staff, and we have our own tournaments. Northland Hockey's an outside group coming in, and uh, there's several of those groups that help us make that 20,000 mark. And uh, like I said, Randy and uh, Dave, what they do for kids and whatnot, it's just great to have them here. You know, we were on board a couple of weeks ago down in Sioux Falls with the Iceplex, and uh, you know, the same basic deal. We're uh, you know, we're kind of stuck to one rink just because of uh, technical issues, but uh, boy, we're getting uh, 21 games out of, out of this rink this weekend. Yeah, well, it's easy. I mean, everything from, uh, you know, yourself putting this together, which is fantastic for the families, but just all the people that get to work through the game of hockey, you know, referees and announcers and scorekeepers and, um, you know, uh, uh, venue managers. It's nice that uh, everybody has an opportunity to stay around the game they like, and yeah, you have to make a few few bucks too so you can uh, so you can do that well and we got a lot of vendors on hand too a lot of neat yeah. merchandise I haven't had much time to go shopping yet but uh, hopefully I'll get a couple minutes here a little later well it is nice that they're in there and they, it's it just brings in a little more atmosphere and um, oddly enough you said that we just had the our latest vendor come in dr. George Nagabods the the doctor for all the Olympics and whatnot you've seen him on the movie miracle and he's but with herb with the stopwatch he's actually in the building right now along with Buzz Schneider 1980 gold medalist so they're signing books right now gold silver bronze and all the kids are getting autographs right now Wow you know and I, that's one thing I was thinking about this facility you probably you know, you've probably been able to see a lot of very well-known hockey people come through the doors here. Well, we've had uh, you know some large events. The North American Hockey League is here, and it like like you said, uh, the the latest was um, well, Brett Hull was here, and uh, Mario Lemieux was just here a few week, uh, months ago, and when he walked in, it kind of is a whole new thing. And he's got an 18-year-old boy playing in the North American Hockey League, and he's just in the crowd eating popcorn and having a hot dog like everybody else. And uh, so I did have to go up and say hello to him. You know, I found a new Mario at Sioux Falls a couple of weeks ago. Like, uh, uh, 2006, he plays for the Nebraska Trailblazers. Mario Fate is his name. I, I named him Super Mario because that little guy is special. Yeah, I did hear about him, and uh, he had a few people coming over from other rinks watching him. So, you know, that's, you know, Northland Hockey has that, too. They have so many teams, so many kids. And, you know, whatever the level it is, you know, there's American National, there's open and invites, whatever you see in AAA hockey. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter. There's always some kids that can jump up and catch your eye a little bit. And uh, they're, they're little. I mean, look at these little guys out here. They're going to be around for 10 more years, and who knows what can happen. It's amazing how much skill some of these kids have developed. Oh, gosh, it is. And, you know, I think uh, the abundance of ice is helpful. Down Sioux Falls, like you said, they've got the nice three-sheeter down there now. Um, with this rink, we have eight ice sheets here in Blaine. Within 20 miles of us, there's 24 ice sheets just with a 24 mile radius of this facility and they're all busy that means there's a heck of a lot of hockey players out there especially in our area that's right now I know at one time uh, this uh, complex was was the largest of its kind in the world is that still true it is you know it's not the largest building but we we can say we're the largest in the world with the most sheets of ice under one roof so um, there's one other in, uh, in Vancouver that has six sheets and they keep two of them turf, but we're eight sheets of ice uh, basically 12 months a year. Now, I think I was reading somewhere where you had four Olympic sized rinks and four NHL. What's the difference between the size of an NHL or Olympic? Right, so if the kids are playing on rinks one through four, they're Olympic. So that's 200 long by 100 wide. And rinks five, six, seven, and eight, their NHL size rink. So they're still 200 long, but they're only 85 feet wide, so 15 feet narrower. And that's the difference between the two rinks.
And that's the difference between uh, a lot of pressure sometimes and not a lot of pressure too, especially at the NHL when you got that narrow rink. Absolutely. And, you know, I think the NHL, the, the, the standard is to go NHL, and you see more of those rinks around because that's where the NHL guys are. But when this rink was built, Herb Brooks was a big part of having this complex built before, you know, his unfortunate accident. And Herb was... Uh, about getting as much ice as possible and opening this game up and and seeing those types of players emerge and uh, so when we uh, were saying NHL or Olympic and Herb Brooks was saying we're going Olympic on the first four we had to listen right and uh, it it worked out for us that we have both well it's uh, quite an event I uh, always love coming here to the National Sports uh, Center and you know hockey soccer or whatever yeah. we can get up here and really uh, I really want to thank you and your staff for the great hospitality and you guys have just been over backwards making easy uh, making things easy for us we really appreciate that well we appreciate you doing what you do making sure kids can see themselves on high and on TV and there's nothing more special than that and to watching that and they can watch it over and over and stuff and I think everything from Northland hockey to the vendors to what you do, I think everything's priced about right too. So um, it's really nice to see that they have the opportunities they do. Sure is. Well, uh, Pete, keep up the great work here. We uh, really appreciate you taking a few minutes to be with us yeah. today. Thank you.